I'm Rick Bondi and I'm a product manager here at SICK and today we're going to introduce you to the new AT20D standing for diameter. There is also a version for an AT20E which is for edge detection and that's in another session but the AT20D is unique because it is essentially the holy grail of sensing. It allows you to detect and measure the width of targets on a flat surface. Now, this is a line array scanner. It uh, works on a contrast principle. So it is a self-contained unit. It's in a diffuse mode or a prox mode right now. And what that's doing is shining this white LED light down onto the surface, white piece of paper here. And the actual size of the spot itself is 30 millimeters long by 10 millimeters wide. Now you're seeing a little bit of residual light along the sides here, just like you would with a flashlight where you have a more intense beam and then residual light to the side. So what it's doing is it's measuring down there and we're getting a no read out of our uh, analog signal. The sensor itself will produce a 4 to 20 milliamp analog value which will have a direct correlation to the width of the target against the background. So for example, if we have a scenario here where we are not getting a read here and yet we introduce a, uh, a piece of adhesive that I put on the white paper here, you see that we immediately start to get an analog value and as we go along here it gets a little bit more narrower right about this point here where it's going down to 10.60 uh, and this is the value so that you can measure the uh, thickness or the width of targets on a flat surface. Now, I say that it works on a contrast type of principle, but you see this adhesive here is actually white on white. And let's see if that's going to work. So we have no value on the white background, and as I introduce the, the white adhesive on the white target, it starts to give us a measurement of the analog value. Now let's use another target here and let's use this material here. This is like a, a caulking material, so on the white surface, so we have no read. And then we're going to go along and we can see that as soon as the target starts to see the contrast difference between the background and the actual width of the target, then I start to get an analog value, we're at about 8.6. As the actual width of the target starts to get narrower, then the value of the analog signal also goes down until we come to a point where we miss it completely and then a little glob there and we're reading that. So these are very simple applications, very easy setup. The sensor is easy, either giving you a measurement value or it is not giving you a measurement value. And as long as there is a contrast differential between the target material or what you're measuring and the background itself, this should be very, very easy to set up. Now there is two different ranges that will be available, two different models. One of the models will have a 25 millimeter nominal sensing distance and that will give you a repeatability down to 100 microns and the other one will be uh, 100 millimeters in a scanning distance and that will give you a 200 micron repeatability, so 0.2 of a millimeter. These are still very, very high accuracies, especially when you're considering that it is used in a diffused mode. Now, most of the applications that we came uh, and explained today, in the past, the only primary solution to these would be vision-based. And now we have an application and a solution that is very cost-effective, very easy to set up, and uh, very easy for the customer to apply in these applications. Thank you.